Good morning. Thanks for joining me again. This is day two of our Pray the Psalms through the month of May. Today's psalm is Psalm 4. Let me read it for us. Answer me when I call to you, O God, who declares me innocent. Free me from my troubles. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you people ruin my reputation? How long will you make groundless accusations? How long will you continue your lies? You can be sure of this. The Lord set apart the godly for himself. The Lord will answer when I call to him. <clears throat> Don't sin by letting anger control you. Think about it overnight and remain silent. Offer sacrifices in the right spirit and trust the Lord. Many people say, who will show us better times? Let your face smile on us, Lord. You have given me greater joy than those who have abundant harvests of grain and new wine. In peace, I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, will keep me safe. <clears throat> As we consider this psalm and think about how God will use those words for each of us today individually to offer him a prayer, remember the four questions that we're kind of reflecting on that are in the in the prayer guide. And um, the first one is, which word or words spoke to you today? Which, which really stood out to you? For me, it was the words innocent um, from the first verse that God declares me innocent. That word just kind of... Uh, I jumped off the page when I read it because I know that I'm not innocent. I'm guilty, uh, as you are. Yet God still declares us innocent because of what Jesus did for us on Calvary's cross. The second word which came up for me was um, the uh, sacrifices. And, uh, in you know, in this Old Testament setting, we talk about sacrifices um, at the altar and in the temple and I think about now, how do we respond to God declaring us innocent? Um, it should be a, a life of worship. Um, it should be a life of sacrifice back to him. And the key is in verse five for me is that it's in the right spirit. Sometimes it's easy for me uh, I, to want to do something for God, but be thinking about the response of people. And that's not the right spirit to offer a sacrifice to God. So. Uh, I need to do things for him, solely for him, for his pleasure. So those two words, innocent and sacrifices, spoke to me. When I read the psalm and I think about what, what can I be thankful for, what is something I can thank him for, um, apart from declaring me innocent when I'm not, it's for giving me the greater joy. Um, in verse 7, you have given me greater joy, uh, that my life can have his joy in it, and I'm thankful for that. What do I need to confess as I read this psalm? Verse um, <clears throat> 4 talks about don't let sin or don't sin by letting anger control you. And, uh, and that's a weakness that I have that I can allow anger to control me. So I will confess that in my prayer. And then what will I ask him for? Uh, I will ask God to help me to offer my sacrifices to him in the right spirit to allow me to fight my my pride and my selfishness to do things uh, for myself or for others and uh, and rather uh, than for him. So that's my prayer of confession. My prayer would look, uh, looks like this. Um, Father, we come to you and I'm grateful that you answer when we call to you. I'm eternally grateful that you declare me innocent, not for what I've done apart from putting my faith in Christ, but for what he did. You free us from our troubles. You have mercy on me and you hear my prayers. And I can be distracted by the voices of the people who work against me. Lord, the enemy, the spiritual enemy that we have that wants nothing more than to see us fall, your people. But help me, Lord, to be sure of this, that you set apart the godly for yourself, that you will answer when I call. Lord, I ask you to help me with situations that would allow anger to build up and to control me. Help me to be patient, to think about things, to uh, think about them overnight and to remain silent, Lord. May I live a life of worship, offering sacrifices to you. But those sacrifices, God, in the right spirit. So help me. Lord, and may we continue to look for you, that you would smile on us, that we would see your goodness and your favor and your mercy. May we remember that you've given us greater joy than those who have abundant harvests of grain and new wine. And Lord, at the end of the day, in peace, we can lie down and sleep.
because we know that you will keep us safe. We thank you for being our great protector. It's in your son's name that I pray. Amen. So I encourage you to read the psalm, to meditate on it, take some notes, journal through the prayer guide. You can download those um, <clears throat> from our website. I'll put the, uh, the link to the page here. And uh, allow God to speak this psalm to you so you can turn that into a prayer and speak back to him. Thanks for joining me on this month-long journey of praying the Psalms. I pray that God will do great things with his word in and through us. I will see you tomorrow.